Hello, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Lego Life on Mars review, and this one is on a Red Planet Protector and Recon Mech RP from 2001, of course. So, move these off of the side for now. So, first off are the two mini clips, well, one that comes with each one of the set. Okay. So on the left we have Centauri and on the right is Altar. Or, yeah, Altar. So as the same pieces as all the other uh, margins of this line, of course, but and of course the only difference are face prints and uh, the colors of the body. So this so which is in blue and this is which is in white, of course. And of course, at, like I said in my last review, is that the bodies and arms are the same as like every battle droid, bit, of course, and. And of course, but also the body pieces are actually backwards, of course. So one of which does have a little tile piece on the stud, of course. Kind of interesting how that is, but as for this face print of it, or as for the face prints, you see one that looks to have some, some like visor on it, and one that has some attachment bit on it. Kind of interesting, but yeah. Starting out with the Red Planet Protector, of course. But also since these two sets of which, which are what some consider as the first modern day mechs of most LEGO lines, but I'm pretty sure that, but of course, some of which from like the 80s and 90s, like Spirius and whatnot, all kind of had something a little similar to that, but yeah. So like, as you see this one, kind of odd how it is, but yeah. So I'll we'll start off with the legs and feet, of course. Which, as you can see, do have those like odd plate pieces used from the first Millennium Falcon set, but also does have a pair of jagged slopes that have some interesting prints on them. Although it's kind of, although it's, it's not very common why about jagged slopes having like prints on them, of course. And if you look from the back part, which smaller jacket slopes and these things on them, of course. And of course, since most of it's done, most of the build does include ratchet joints, of course. Since, of course, do click forward a bit. And uh, since it's mixed with regular blue and dark sand blue, so of course. You have interesting printed round plate there, and also this vent piece in trans orange, the older style, of course. And on each leg, you get the older style, old style turbine pieces that do go around like that, and also blaster piece from most old space lines with a cone piece on it. And also, a little thing to note is that. Like most of the sets of this line, where you can like take these off and uh, make odd combinations, but just in separate chunks rather than separate pieces, of course. And onto the center section, which, as you can see, there's a couple holes in it, and also the legs that do swing in and out, uh, which of course does help with standing, of course. And it turn around and see that it has some extra bits to that, and of course, large old style tubing, unlike with the later ones where that we've come to know. And, 
and those do have these pair of like fin like things that have, both have different kind of blasters on them but they don't shoot or anything and if you wonder why this one keeps flopping it's because I kind of lost the stopper a bit of it that does that well I might find it eventually but yeah but as for this one of which I see does have that odd paneling kind of piece on it and then some various things so like good some all right symmetry to it and as for the other side which kind of similar but also with this kind of piece is which I don't think we've seen in quite so long or it's defunct or whatever but as you can see has like few reverse studs on it so you can attach it onto some large bit and also has a few reverse studs on it as well so kind of interesting how it is but as for the center part of which as he does have the older style cockpit piece it's on there and also a printed round tile there with a scoping bit on it but you just can flip this up and also got enough room or enough space to fit 20 your Martian man figs into a course and also this clip part of it is for their uh, hands to clip on to a course well standing or sitting down however you want And of course, uh, oops, I think I just put it in wrong. Okay. Oh, and also to mention our well, is one of those front the nose cone kind of pieces, but in sand blue. Nice for mocking, of course, and yeah. Oh, and also the middle part of it can come right off, of course, like most of uh, sets of this line, of course, so you can mix match and whatnot. And so that is it with this one. And now on to Recon Mech RP, of course. Which, as you can see, some of the build techniques kind of similar, but, but of course in red and sand, red. And of course, sand red, not very common, of course. You can see the same similar kind of pieces, but in red and with sand red printing on them. and also a little more bulk to it and same piece as the last one kind of did and also like the other is splits in half of course and as for the arm switch quite a little bit symmetric goal but different things to them like on the top part of it is just a couple of regular bricks and also a tube going through it and also got this also a plate with a bit of flame onto it and and of course goes down into a couple of regular bits and then to a flamethrower of course and on the this other arm sort of the same stuff but also ends up with a little grasping hook to it and it's held by the older style rubber band pieces which break apart quite easily over time but yeah and on the back is a couple of the like cylind large cylinder pieces but in sand red very nice and top part of it is one of the dish piece is a dish piece but with some unique printing to it which you can definitely use in some mocking mocks of course and so now on to the center section which couple of different bits to it like this odd piece but in a uh, trans yellow of course and, this, and also older style blast 
through their course. And same cockpit piece as the other, but flip open. And pair of jagged slopes and uh, sand red, of course. And same piece as some of the others kind of did. And of course, like the other, you can like let your watching big clip on to that. And sit in back, of course. So for the for my final verdict on these two. So my overall verdict, I think these two. Oh whoops. So overall, I think these two of which are uh, quite good sets for them, even though they may have been one of the first mechs of Lego that we've ever seen. And of course, and also with one of which do get plenty of sand red, even though not very common. But yeah. But also, kind of odd how that there was just one Martian fig included with each of them. Although it would have been nice if could have had an extra fig or two added in, but yeah, whatever. But also, and of course, swap around and all, often kind of fun. And of course, you do get a couple of good pieces to them, like the uh, grasping clock piece and everything. And also the turbines, of course. And now, so now, if any of y'all still have these sets from back today, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.